He's doing the splits. He's so cute. Yo, what's going on everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Pierce's Planet. Finally got my cameraman back. Hey guys. Round of applause. <laughs> uh, so today we are going to be doing a Crested Gecko Bioactive setup. And on to, dude. Why are my arms already tired? <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna be doing a bioactive crested gecko, gecko setup, and I completely stole this from Clint's reptiles. I watched his video, do him doing a bioactive setup, and thought it just seemed super easy. So we're gonna see if we can do it too. So Clint's reptiles, if you if you Clint, if you ever watch this video, thank you. But if this doesn't work, then I take that back. Just kidding. All right, so. We're gonna go through the steps. Rango has been in need, in dire need of a new setup. His cage, he's still in his baby cage right now. And he's like full grown. So I've had all this stuff ready to go. I've just been waiting for my lovely <laughs> cameraman to come back and she finally has. So <laughs> let's get started on this and we'll go step by step on how to set this up. And oh, I forgot to say, you know, I'll put Clint's link in the description because his is probably better than mine. He's the one that showed me how to do it on his YouTube channel. So I'll put that link in my description and you guys can go check that video out too. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to mix together all the soil and the eco earth and everything to create the background. So what I have is I have this repti soil that I'm going to mix in. I have eco earth that I'm going to mix in and then I have some moss that I'm going to mix in. And there's already some Eagle Earth in here in this little bucket, as you can see. Um, in Clint's video, he had the brick of Eagle Earth, so that's why he had to wet it. I don't necessarily have to wet this down, but I'm going to wet it anyways because I think it's gonna help it stick to the background when I lay the glue down. So you're very vocal today, aren't you? <laughs> so, so yeah, so we're just gonna start with that and mix it all together and we're gonna get a little dirty, you know what I'm saying? You said like All right, so, already got the Eco Earth in here. I honestly, I don't know how much I'm supposed to make. That's the problem. I really don't know how much I'm supposed to make. So I guess we're gonna have to play it by ear. Because I think we only got one shot, no m and m One opportunity. To seize everything you ever wanted. <laughs> <sighs> What's that from, baby? Hey, wow. Oh, use yourself. Yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna dump it in there. We're gonna have to cover this whole thing. So I'm still gonna, I have to put water in it, obviously. We're gonna dampen it up, but. Give it a good mix. We're gonna give it a good old, little, good old fashioned mixeroni. And I still gotta mix in the, uh, the what's it called? Moss? Yes. I don't know what that stuff's called. I probably shouldn't have worn my nice clothes. I like these clothes. And the Repti soil already kind of has moss mixed into it and stuff. But just to be safe. And voila. So this is the end result. I don't know, it looks kind of dark on this side, but anyways, hopefully you guys can see it. Clint used uh, sand in his video. I just didn't have sand, that's why I didn't use it. So I used soil instead. This soil does contain sand as well. But the sand was really just to give it like a different like texture. So now what the next step is, is to basically um, lay out all the glue. And we're basically gonna cover the whole backside of this enclosure 
We're going to cover this whole backside right here, covered in glue. You really don't have to worry about this last part right here uh, because that will be covered in soil, but everything else is going to be covered in Gorilla Glue. And then we are going to add in like the cork bark and the branches that we're gonna put in there. And once I lay this Gorilla Glue down, it's pretty much a wrap. Like, I gotta make sure I got everything in place that the way I like it, because if I don't have it all in <laughs> it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's Anzu. Um, if I don't have everything in place, then that would be kind of bad. And then I'll just be stuck with it, you know, for forever. Okay. What's that? What movie is that from? The Sandlot. Ah! <laughs> you should watch that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, my dad used to say that all the time. So you gotta make sure that you just like, basically how he did it in his video is do like a, basically like a giant tic-tac-toe board across the whole backside. So that's the strategy that I'm gonna try to do. Okay, so when I, before I put the glue down, I'm gonna wanna give the background a light spray. We're gonna be using Gorilla Glue. Now, in the Clint's Reptile video, he had like one of the big bottles I, do, I couldn't find that. So I literally had to go out and grab four different little bottles. <laughs> so, which are the equivalent to one big bottle though, I might add. So, like I said before, he did a little tic-tac-toe board. My girlfriend's encouraging me to do it a different way. So she's the boss, so I'm gonna do that, I guess, and try it. It's gonna be risky. I really don't feel comfortable with it, but we're gonna try it. And basically she just wants me to just like glob it in there, take the whole cap off and glob it. So we got some heavy stuff going in, so we'll try, but So we got the layer down, if you want to show them that really quick. Nice thick layer. Okay. So now it is time to put everything in there. So we want to make sure that everything is, oops, is where I want it to go. So we put uh, stuff on a couple of these just to kind of help it hold and hopefully hold it in place a little bit better. So now it's time to put the soil in. So that's what I'm about to do. I don't know why I took my gloves off for this. Putting pretty much, and it really doesn't have to look too pretty at first. Everything on top is going to fall off anyways. So, Really, it doesn't matter the amount you put on there. Just want to cover the whole. You just want it to cover everything. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm just going to basically, you want to make sure you press all this soil down without um, moving all the stuff that we put in here. We want to make sure that we press that soil down and what's going to happen or what should happen according to Clint's video is that this stuff, the, the, um, what's it called? The, the glue should start to rise. And so we're going to have to basically just press this down every so often, every so often because the glue is going to cause it to rise up. All right, guys, welcome back to Percy's Planet. So the deal right now is, I'm just kidding. Yeah, this, is, this is all getting cut out. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blooper reel. Um, you're like a hit on the blooper reel for sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so, so that's it for right now. Basically now all we have to do is just wait, let it sit. Uh, the glue should start pushing it up a little bit. And as it's doing that, we're basically gonna just push it back down. Um, it's gonna take a couple hours probably for it to completely dry and to hold everything to where we can start the next process. So while we wait for all this to dry, 
I think what we're gonna do now is we're going to basically, I, I wanted to move my Death Stalker Scorpion into a new container, an easier container to access the one that he's in now, or she's in now. It's really hard to access and it's hella heavy and big and lumpy, just stupid. So anyways, I got a new enclosure for her that I wanna move her in. So maybe we'll do that. I'm a little nervous about this because I haven't really touched her since I got her, but yeah, let's, let's, let's do that real quick. All right, you guys. So Cersei is going to be moving from this cage to this cage. Just, she doesn't need all the space, especially the height. She doesn't need it. So I'm gonna put her in this. It's gonna be easier for me to access, a lot lighter. Just a lot a lot easier to see here, just a lot better overall. So um, this was a failed attempt at a bioactive for her. I tried to put like a little cactus in there and shit. It died. Uh, I'm, I'm not good at bioactives, even though we're in the middle of a bioactive video. I'm not good at bioactives. So what I'm gonna do is basically just give Cersei a little mix of Eco Earth and she's gonna get like some bark. Death Stalker Scorpions, for those of you who don't know, are the most venomous scorpion species in the world. Okay. And these guys like to burrow, so I wanna kinda give her a, a nice little layer. It's gonna be mixed in with some other stuff too. Basically, I need to find her first because you that. don't want to, seriously, you really don't want to take a sting from these guys. Um, potentially life-threatening. Is she under there? Yeah, she, yeah she's, she's right there and she's not happy now. No, she's not. You might so. take that out. We'll take this out. There she is, guys. She is beautiful. I do love her, but... Yes. Are you nervous? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I... Damn, I don't usually interact with it like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get her in this container. Actually, you know what? Get gloves on. I'm gonna put a, at least one glove on, well, the one that I'm holding this with, because honestly, if she freaks out, she could easily skirt, like, they, they're they fast. So just gotta be extra careful. Also don't wanna hurt her. So we're gonna see if we can Here she is. Ooh. New home. There we go. Look Easy peasy. Beautiful. All right, you guys. So it's now been, what, about three hours <laughs> since we finished. We had a little bit of, uh, of a problem with the, the glue rising up. We, I, I was not expecting it to rise up so quickly and so much, but we were able to kind of contain it. And so now we got it all settled. So everything is pretty solid in here. So I'm about to flip up the cage and kind of see what it looks like. And then we'll go from there, okay? Get all this excess soil out of here. So we're gonna flip it. Ooh, look at this guys. Oh, yeah. All right, so the next step is creating the false bottom. So the false bottom is basically going to ensure that we don't get any like excess water. We don't get any like excess water in the bottom, water buildup in the bottom because of the misting that's gonna be going on. So what we use, what I have are the Zoomed Hydro Balls. These work really well. They basically absorb the water and they also create some areas for some beneficial bacteria to kind of live and set up shop at so really good some people use like red lava rock i know they sell that in the stores um yeah they just they're just really this is a really good thing to have you don't necessarily have to have it but it does help out quite a bit so just want a thin layer of it maybe one more Then after you put that down, I don't know why I bought this. You don't need to buy this. They make this way more expensive than what 
it's really worth, but this is just basically just a, like a little mesh net that basically is gonna separate your, your soil from your clay balls. So, honestly, I have like a roll of this. It's really just like, you could buy this stuff at Walmart for a lot cheaper than what they try to sell it to you for at a pet shop. But it really is just there to separate so that you don't have any mixture of your soil and your hydro balls. So that just goes like that. All right, so the next step is basically just, did I say the next step? Yeah. The next step is basically just adding the soil in and then we're gonna start doing the fun stuff, which is planting. So just add soil in. I don't really know if you guys wanna watch it, but we'll show you guys anyways. So soil's in there. Now we're gonna do a little bit of planting and we'll get back to you guys once we are done with that. <laughs> so the planting is almost done. And so we're gonna put this terrarium grass in there and there's gonna be some grass that grows in here. Usually it's for like tortoises to eat and stuff like that, but I think it's just gonna look good. So let's just put that in there, see what it looks like. It's gonna take a while, you're not gonna see it now, obviously, but it's gonna grow and then you're gonna eventually see it, so yeah. stuff in there and it's super warm. can't even see it whatever all right well it's super warm time these are super worms in here so I do have isopods as well that we're gonna put in but I want to put in some super worms because these guys are gonna eat all basically all the poop and these guys are gonna help me so I don't have to clean so we're gonna make sure we put some worms in there some isopods they're basically the cleanup crew and they're gonna take care of all the waste in here that's what part of the reason why these leaves are in here because they will also eat that as well so i'm just afraid that the isopods will get eaten by the crescent gecko and these guys probably won't because they'll be sitting there at the bottom so if you can see oh squigglies you can see ah, Ew, you're sick just kidding but yeah so we'll put these guys in there and they're gonna they're gonna have some fun Let me just show you guys how cute our bird and cat are. All right, so now it is isopod time. And these little beauties are calicos. So I'm really not an isopod expert, but hopefully these guys thrive in here. I heard they reproduce pretty crazy. So I'll take a good look at them. Get closer, right? You kind of like the
All right, you guys, so the moment of truth is here. Rango is ready to go into his new home. And look at it in the background. It looks really, really good. Serious. He, I mean, I wish I could have shown you guys. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys his old enclosure, but it was full of fake plants and it was really small. It was his baby enclosure. So you can see his size now. He's, he's getting up there in size. So he was, it, this was long overdue. So I am just super, super excited to put him in and see how he enjoys it. And yeah, so let's just, Let's just do it, right? All right, Rango, here you go. Yeah, of course you don't want to go. Rango, look. <laughs> don't look at this? me, dude. Come here. No. God damn it. I need you to turn the other way. Oh, there he there is. There you go, buddy. I can't say he's gonna jump. He's so cute. And it looks so good. He's gonna be so happy. is it for today's video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know we enjoyed doing this video because this turned out way better than expected i mean not to like to my own horn but or mine, but, i mean yeah. but i did most of the work but Whoa, are you serious? so anyway so it turned plant. out it turned out amazing Beautiful. i picked out the plants i picked out the i made sure that plant. everything looked really good um, this is my video, miss. Don't talk over me. So no credit for me. Hey, this is my video. Don't talk over me, okay? You see what I'm doing? So, so I picked out all the plants. I did all the planting. Are you serious? Stuff. She, she planted a little bit. But anyways, we really enjoyed doing this. It turned out just amazing. Like, it really turned out better than, way better than expected. I know Rango's going to love it. So let me know what you guys thought about the video. Did you guys like the way we set it up? Do you guys dislike the way we set it up? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've done a bioactive enclosure, what you would have done differently or what you would have kept the same. Again, thank you one more time to Clint's Reptiles. He was the inspiration for this video. He is the reason why I knew how to do this because I watched his video. So I'll make sure I put that video's link in my description. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and please, please, please share this video. Until next time, everybody, my name's Pierce LaValle. We are in Pierce's planet. And remember, it's all about, about the, the reps, reps baby. baby. I saw you back there trying to, trying to interrupt <laughs> me. Peace. <laughs>